Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can assign a background, a sky background or other backgrounds in Rhino 8. So I'm in my yard view. In the previous videos, we talked about how to create cameras and everything. Uh, notice that this is on rendered mode. Uh, under render tools, I want to go with Toggle environment panel. You see that it has a studio option. I want to add one option, add environment, and I want a basic environment. And it's it added them there, so the second one here is the basic environment. Under basic environment, under settings, I want to uh, assign the image. I want to go with the sky image, open. It didn't apply it yet, so it's it shows basic environment. It shows the name of the image, which is sky. I also need to go to file properties and under background, we need to go with basic environment and OK. So it should be set in two places. Now, it doesn't look very good yet. So under mapping, I want to go with environment map. And then this tab shows and I want to try box or something else box is not very good it's spherical it's a little bit better so this is one way to assign uh, an image if I save the file you see that the size of the file didn't change is 3 megabytes now I want to show you more options but they're gonna add more to the size of the file so let's say I want to go back here there is a studio option. What does it do? So under the studio option, uh, I can uh, assign an image. This time I want to assign an HDRI file. It's a big file. See, it's 44 megabytes. So I'm going to open this. Here, now it's set on studio. Remember that it's controlled from two places under file properties. I also need to switch to studio. You see it's already slower because HDRI files are so big. It looks beautiful, but if I save this file, you're going to see that now the size of the file is suddenly 46 megabytes. So I'm going to go back. I want to go with my um, basic environment from here. So it's on basic. And under file properties, I want to also go with basic. Uh, maybe I can right click and delete this uh, studio file. I want to save the file. Now the size of the file is back to 3 megabytes, so it's better. There is one other option here too. Uh, I can go with import from environment library. In Rhino 8, it has a big environment library, for instance. I can go with any of this. So for instance, if I go with Toronto Evening, open it, now I have Toronto Evening here. Remember that you need to also go to File Properties and go with Toronto Evening from here. Maybe it's not the best for this view. Now if I save the file, I want to see how big it got. It's now 8 megabytes. So again, adding studio files from here relative to adding basic environment, adding your studios is going to get your file heavier. So I'm going to go back to my basic environment. And remember, you need to also go to file properties, change this back to basic environment. Let's try it for the interior camera. I'm going to go to my living room view, this one. Uh, let's say uh, I want to change the sky. What is that thing that you see over there, the white one? If I go to File Properties, that's the ground plane. It, if you don't want it, just remove it. Or you can go have it, but assign a different material. I'm going to remove it for now. And in this view, I would like to go with Environment Panel again, Basic Environment. I want to add another Basic Environment, this one. And I'm going to maybe rename it as uh, interior. So this is for my interior view. And here I want to assign this garden view image. I created that here, the interior. I also need to go to file properties and assign the interior view. This is applied now under, under mapping channel. I can go with environment map again. And from automatic, 
I can change this to a box or something and it's going to look uh, a little bit better. All your other settings are here. So let's say, for instance, we want to go with Toronto evening. I can go to file properties and set it to Toronto evening. And that file is going to show there. OK, uh, I'll go back to my interior background. And uh, let's say you want to have it darker. So I'm going to click on my interior background under environment setting. You can go to the image here under adjustment, multiplier. How about I change this to a lower number? Let me see if I can type here 0.5. Uh, hit enter. Then it's going to be um, darker by half of the light it had before. So if you want to make something darker, you can apply this multiplier thing here. So in Rhino 8, is uh, again, it's different. You have different settings here. Right now I have one, two, three, three different settings. And you have to go with file properties to choose which setting you want. Uh, do you want the sky image? Do you want uh, the other ones? But then uh, if you change your adjustments, make sure that uh, you go here and change the projection back to uh, maybe planner from here. Now it's going to look nicer. So in the Rhino 8, the sky is controlled not only from here, these are just your alternatives, but also from file properties here. Ground plane is also available under render options. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.